What's up, YouTube? It's been a long winter. Bike looks a whole lot different now than it did last time I posted. Go over all the stuff I've done to it during the winter time. Review everything. Stick around. All right. The most expensive thing I added to the bike, guys, is this uh, Sawiki exhaust. Two in the one stainless steel. Raw finish. And I must say, I love this thing, man. Power feel a big difference in torque it was i installed myself i changed the gaskets not too hard of a job easy install easy install second thing i did harlan ness big big sucker air intake did that myself as well easy install as well noticed a big difference in performance in the bike since i've added it feels a lot more more torquey get on that throttle and you really feel a difference these torque saddlebags here i love these things man i got i uh, <laughs> I, I put all kind of stuff in these things man i got my gopro batteries um see what i got in here now i got i think i got a jack i got a my hat in here uh another pair of gloves and a, um a nice uh microfiber cloth to wipe the bike down you know keep it keep her nice and clean um, love these things. Um, I got a jacket in this one here. Next thing, I added these uh, Arlen Ness foot pegs and toe shifter. Comfy as hell. I had I, I put the Vans on there, the Vans grips on there. I didn't really like them. End up taking those things off of there. I like these a whole lot better. These feel a, a lot better, a lot better. With that intake install with the and the exhaust, full exhaust. I went with the Power Vision tuner here from Fuel Moto. I had the guys. Uh, I told them what setup I was going with, and they put a tune in there. But I've also, I'm also auto doing a, running an auto tune every time I ride, just to get it dialed in real good. I relocated my turn signals down to the fork. As you can see, I changed my headlight with a, a different style led versus the one i had before i added uh these risers here eight inch uh bunk kings and then went with a built out uh built well tracker style bar um relocated my speedometer oh, i forgot i also uh color matched my fairing to my bike so uh billiard blue now other than that that's pretty much it. Saddlemen, you guys saw that on a previous video. So just risers, intake, exhaust, saddlebags, relocated my uh, turn signals, then uh, grips, foot pegs, shifter peg, uh, relocated speedo. Oh yeah, yeah, I did add uh, this charger here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, um, this for my phone. Easy, easy install, got it off of Amazon. What I'm gonna do, I'm try to find a, uh, get me a little bracket or something. I can find a way to, to mount it on there where it's not like moving around and stuff like that. Right now, I just got a zip tie to the riser, but try to make a clean look. I am gonna zip tie a bunch of these wires up, clean these wires up a little bit behind, behind this shield. I really haven't done it because that fairing, uh, the fairing hides a lot of that ugly, ugly wires all over the place. Since then, I picked up this rusty butcher helmet as well. Uh, I love that thing. It's the most comfortable helmet I've owned. And these uh, Odin gloves. Saw these on uh, the Shade Tree Surgeon channel. And them things are fucking awesome. Today's my first day uh, riding with them. Just got them in the mail this week. And they, uh, they're they awesome. So far, I'm in love with them. I might be ordering another pair as soon as I get in the house. Because them things, are they're nice. They're nice. Nice, comfy. Got a nice grip to them quality made would definitely be ordering another pair that's pretty much it update on the bike i will try to start posting more often on this channel i've been working a lot man been working a lot um i work for the one of the companies doing these covid vaccines and as you can imagine we've been swamped the last couple months working 12 hour days six seven days a week sometimes so i haven't really had time to go out and ride let alone try to shoot some footage for the YouTube channel.
one thing I will say that if, I'm glad everything's starting to open back up, man. Hope everyone stayed safe last year. It's a real trying year for some people. I can say that I've been blessed to not uh, not have struggled last year, but uh, you know, not everyone can say that. Hopefully everyone has a better 2021. You know, everyone enjoy the upcoming riding season, ride safe. I will be trying to upload a lot more content here. I got a mic set up too, I got one for my GoPro. So I'm gonna start this moto vlogging thing here soon. Talk all kind of things, sports, you know, mainly sports, bike stuff. There's a couple of real nice bikes out there, man. I, I almost traded my bike in, I'm not even gonna lie. That new Street Bob with the 114. The price point that it's at it's it's perfect i got a nice equity on my bike but um i don't know i'm still enjoying this thing i can't say that i'm still enjoying this thing a couple things i might do to, to this bike if i do decide to keep it is the rear shocks probably go with some progressive 412s or some 444s i've seen a lot of good reviews on those as well it all depends i decide to do but like i said i'm still enjoying this thing it's I love it, man. You know, it's perfect for for what I do, the type of riding that I do and stuff. So, uh, you know, stick around and more content coming soon. All right, so I didn't do a um, start up on it, on this uh, exhaust, let you guys hear it. See what you guys think.